And that is how you write a musical in 24 hours. a.m. on the 17th and today we are attempting my first 24-hour live stream and what better way to do that than by attempting to fully finish writing my musical in 24 hours. Now that is act one. We have gotten through section one already so I only have these two sections to write and then I have to map out act two and then I have to write it. <laughs> now of course it isn't going to be a functioning musical yet. I'm going to be attempting a zero draft of the show, which means I'm going to be writing all the scenes and all the lyrical content, but no actual finalized lyrics or music for this version. So this is what we call a fast draft or a zero draft if you write a novel. And I am going to take you on the journey of seeing if I can get it done today. The minimum is act one completely writing out all those scenes. I'm streaming for 24 hours. That is girl bossing too close to the sun just on principle. So I figure I might as well take you on the journey. So right now I'm going to finish just setting up the stream. I have pretty much nothing open, so I need to fix that. Hello, hello, we are now seen and you can see the little pup over there. <laughs> Look at him. He's also there in real life. Hi, little boy. In this hour zero, my hair looks like this, uh, but I'm also having chai. Found out I was allergic to chai, but I also did buy a whole new package of chai, so I'm gonna drink it anyway. See you in an hour. <laughs> All right, here's the beginning. It's nine o'clock. Three, two, one. <sighs> it started. It is currently. 21 minutes into this 24 hour stream and look at these people. <laughs> Already a level three hype train. We've only been streaming for 21 minutes. We haven't even done a sprint yet, you crazy, crazy people. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Maya can't relate to the snow, must be nice. It is nice. Right now, it is just cloudy outside. That is all. I just got to the point of the story. Uh, we have about eight minutes left on the first sprint where I'm actually adding a song that I've already written, which is the background check. You can see it there, second panel in blue. And uh, I literally haven't opened this file in Songcraft, which is where I keep all my songwriting tabs and lead sheets and stuff in five months. So now I'm actually just going to copy it over and take it from there, which is so exciting. Like having at least one song in the bag, it's like <laughs> one less to write, you know, in this process. I haven't written very much this sprint, but it's better than nothing. All right, the second sprint has started and I'm actually on my way to make breakfast because I don't know exactly how to do it and stream, but people seem to be liking it. There are currently 19 people hanging out, so it seems to be working. During the last sprint, let me walk. I wrote 472 words. I'm getting into the background check. I realize now that, uh, yeah, your girl actually needs to make major. Yes, I still have my Christmas tree up. Leave me alone. I have to make like major, major edits to the background check. The lyrics do not work anymore because they're not going on a date, right? They're, this is a business proposal and the whole setup and fight that I have between them is that she wants to discover Megan's secrets alone. And I think that could still be the turning point in the song. I do think that that's like very compelling to her, like actually wanting to go on a date with this woman, even though she's dating someone else. But yeah, I need to definitely update, update the song to fit the new story that it fits in. Cause when I was writing it, it was, it was earlier on in the story. So, Let's go make some breakfast. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna make some eggs. 
um, forgive the disaster of my kitchen, but I'm heating up my second cup of tea. I was gonna have a breakfast sandwich, but I'm just gonna take the time to make something delicious. Because your girl's gonna be streaming for 24 hours, so check in with you during the second hour. This is check in after hour one, right? Check in after hour one. Breakfast was delicious. Hoping to write at least some more during the sprint, but I do want to let you in on a little bit behind the scenes because I actually am super sensitive to coffee, or should I say caffeine? So I don't usually drink more than one cup of tea a day or one cup of coffee a day early because otherwise I'll be up for 24 hours or all night, which is kind of why this is important. So I tried my chai tea which I think is my favorite tea thus far. I had a regular black tea now, and I'm gonna try the Darjeeling during my next tea break. Then I'll have some Earl Grey tonight. Just gonna drink through all my blacks until eventually we build up to coffee. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's go right. All right, everyone, we are on break how did we do all right so we are currently at almost four hours of the sprint little boy daddy isn't there come here hi look at that big twitch yeah yeah and during this sprint i ended up writing 827 words i haven't really come up with a good way to catch up with the stream and vlog it at the same time little boy here's his dad outside so i'm gonna let him out all right all right yes yes go on he's not here yet so as i was talking about earlier not only do i need to change the background check but i actually also need to add a song in that I thought I was going to cut. Let me show you. So originally I was going to have So You Do Need Me after the background check between Alejandra and Megan, where, oh God, not this again, where they talk to each other about kind of what they need and the fact that finally Alejandra gives in. I think I need to set it up a little bit more earlier showing Alejandra and Megan really staying far apart and that Alejandra is doing that because she has feelings for her and Megan knows that. I do really like that. I gotta set that up earlier. But I had cut that song thinking that it was going to be a double and I'm thinking that it is going to be a double. So I'm actually thinking that the proposal, oh, sorry, wrong one. I'm actually thinking that the reveal is actually that, and it'll fade from the background check into the reveal all at once. And then you don't look at me like before is going to be, it's gotta be in there somewhere. Maybe that's the one big number there. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it's gonna play out, but we have about six scenes left, seven scenes left to write in act one. And that's something, yeah. All right, we are now almost six hours in, a fourth of the way through this 24 hour challenge. And yes, costume change, my favorite podcast, T -t 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 Trauma Kids. Actually, it's the big three podcast from My Hero Academia. In case you couldn't tell, I am a huge fan, uh, but also not me literally getting a notification of My Hero Academia right now on my phone as I'm recording this. <laughs> so. I've written in total three scenes, and right now in the story, we're about to get to the reveal, which I think is going to be a bit of a fun little chorus number, maybe, at the restaurant, where they talk about what to get at the Argentinian place. I'm gonna take some research. Out of the four sprints so far, this is sprint number five. Uh, the last one was my best. I wrote over a thousand words, and so far we've written almost... 3,000 words, we're about 300 and so words short. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six scenes left in act one. And then I gotta start working on act two and we are about 75 pages into this document. I am legitimately starting to fear 
that this musical is getting too long, but I have to keep reminding myself, this is the zero draft. This is the first draft of the thing that's gonna be written, not even the first draft. Like, this is the zero draft. I'm getting all the ideas out there and we're gonna keep working through it. I just gotta write it in 24 hours, six hours in, 18 more hours to go. I will check in with you in a couple of hours. <laughs> So the chat got a full bingo board. I'm making the second one now. Not to mention if they get four full boards, uh, I'm gonna have to do a cooking stream. I guess if you wanna see me make pasta. <laughs> we are now seven hours in. I wrote 365 words in the last sprint. But now I'm at the restaurant scene in Los Andes where Megan is gonna do the reveal and be like, yeah, the." The shop is essentially unsalvageable at the rate that I've seen and there's really nothing I can think of that can get you there and I'm sorry and like I took you out to dinner, right? But Alejandra is making this whole thing of like, well, you know, I'm Argentinian and Chilean so we're all about meat and wine and like that's what you should get here and you know, parrilladas are like, parrilladas are this type of Argentinian food. Let me sit you down while I make this. <laughs> And for those of you curious on what I'm drinking here, it's grapefruit juice and squirt because I like grapefruit. So anyway, you know, it's all about like making like the sense of family and a parrilla really, really achieves that because it's like a tabletop grill and everyone's just eating together, eating off each other's plates. It's all about that shared communal experience and you wouldn't really have a, a parrilla with a stranger. So the fact that Alejandra is suggesting it not only shows like I want to be closer to you, um, but also the fact that Megan is seeing that and being like, well, you know, like you're going to share your business with me. We might as well like be friends, have a community or whatever, which I think makes the fact that she's going to lie to her like the devastation even worse, which I think is what's going to lead to climbing, which is Megan's big song of being like, is this what I want? Is doing this what I want? And I think that that's totally fair and a really good turning point for our antagonist to turn into someone who actually helps the shop. And the fact that like they help and spoiler alert, it actually still fails, I think says a lot to like this particular point in act one. So yeah, the reveal has taken me a bit longer to write than I was expecting, but I really do think I can get that done and climbing done during the next 50 minute sprint. So, with that said, let's make this new bingo board. <laughs> I will check in with you in a couple of hours. Also, we broke 6.50 on Twitch. Crazy. <laughs> it is 6.35 p.m. We are nine and a half hours in. We have about four minutes left on this break, and I have a lot to catch you up on. Since the last check-in, I've done two sprints, which are actually... Yeah, my two biggest sprints so far, uh, 1,459 words and then 1,222 for sprints six and seven. So we are about, we are a little bit, uh, we are a little bit over 5K right now, which I'm very, very excited about. Now, in terms of story, I have found, again, I'm writing a lot of the connective tissue, but we have five major songs left in act one, we are officially sitting at 91 pages in this manuscript. I'm thinking that this first draft, zero draft of the show is gonna be about 180 to about 190 pages long. So we're about halfway there. That's my estimation right now. I keep fearing that it's too long, but Hamilton was in fact 288 pages long, just the raw manuscript. And while my story doesn't have quite the historical breadth, it does have a lot of stuff to cover. So I'm not feeling too bad about the page length, but let me catch you up on everything I've written. I have to say, super proud of the reveal. I created a new character actually. His name is Señor Raúl, previously Ramón, who is the owner of Los Andes. And he's gonna be sort of the main guy there. He's known Julio and Rosa and Alejandra growing up because that was like the restaurant that they would go to all the time. Obviously, Megan knows this. And I think that that becomes very interesting because we see Megan kind of become regular at places and realize that there is community for her to lean on. And that's what makes her reconsider like, oh, why am I climbing? Why do I keep doing this? I do this for my mom, but am I actually doing it for her or I'm just too afraid to do it for me? Like, what is the reason that I do this? And I think that creating that sense of community that everyone knows 
is really, really strong, which makes like the fact that they're gonna run away together so morally gray. Like everyone knows that they're gonna hook up essentially. I mean, not at this point in the story, but like Javier, everyone knows about Javier because everything is gossip and everything is spread. There's chisme, you know, nothing can be kept a secret. If you're Latino, you know this. If you've seen Encanto, you know this. Uh, so I think that there's a lot of power in that. So, you know, we have Alejandra leaving Huff. This was really fun to write between Nick and Javier. There's a nice little parallel there that I love. And then we have climbing, which I love. And then this Nick, Megan, Javier scene. I wasn't expecting that to be there, but it did kind of just come out where Javier actually stops Megan, right? He tries to do something after the You Don't Look At Me Like Before song where he's like, yes, this relationship is fragile, but I want to keep it going. So I'm going to assert my dominance with this woman who I know is interested in my woman. And I, I love that vibe. I love that vibe for him. And yeah, you know, then we have the scene with Nick. Nick's like, oh, you won, right? It's great. And then we have the actual scene that's going to lead up to our big, big number before our act one finale, A Taste of Home, where everything's kind of coming together. I really see that song as um, the Hamilton song before Dear Theodosia, where everyone comes together and they've like won the war. Does it feel like an act one closer? It absolutely does, but it is isn't. Then we have the little moment of Theo Diodosia, which we're going to have a similar kind of quiet moment here with what is happening here, where we remember what Rosa is doing, both prideful, but also concerned about kind of the relationship between Megan and Alejandra and how close they are. It's going to get gossipy. Well, anyway, that's what I'm envisioning right now. Uh, I'm going to actually order pizza. That's what I'm supposed to be doing instead of vlogging. You know, be right back when I'm supposed to be ordering pizza, but in fact, I am vlogging. <laughs> Sorry guys. But yeah, I'm gonna order pizza and then it's time to just keep on writing. So I'll check in with you in a couple of hours. We are at 9.40 right now. <sighs> oh my God. My sister's in the chat and her going, and Micah still has 14 hours and 20 minutes left on the stream. Third cup of tea. 10 hours. <laughs> hi vlog. I don't know how to say hi to the vlog. You were saying hi to the vlog now, Eli. Uh, 60 minute sprints the chat voted for. And uh, yeah, I have my tea and now it's time to write. I am tired. I could barely lift that cup of tea, by the way. Y'all suck. <laughs> I'm losing steam, baby. <laughs> I would too. I'm so close though. Like I can taste the ending of the story now. Mm -hmm. I can see it. I've never seen it like that before. Are you gonna see John this week? If I finish it. Mm -hmm. I can't meet him with an act one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish it and I'm gonna send him this piece of shit and I'm gonna be like, John? This is the raw bones, baby. I have 90 pages right now. I'm thinking it's gonna be between 180 and 200 pages, but I'm not being efficient in the slightest. I, it's a lot of just throwing stuff on the wall. I've discovered a lot of stuff I like though. I also created a whole new character. Damien? Senor Raul. must know something about me and my writing process. <laughs> it's this. I just finished writing the fake lyrics of A Taste of Home, that one right there. And to make sure I give myself the closure that I need for this song, to really give myself the vibe of, this is the end of the song, the end of the scene. Every time I go, because you know, every musical theater song, especially like a big number like this, has that button. So, in the heart of the valley, that's not even how the melody goes, but as, if I add that, then it's real. It has ended. And with that said, all right, gang, 12 hours in, 12 hours in, Woo -wee. halfway there, halfway there, halfway there. Oof. 
we are almost 14 hours in and uh, it's time for my first cup of coffee, but I will also be making some miso soup because your girl just needs comfort. I'm sleepy. I have been actively working on the show since nine in the morning. You know, I really thought I could write a musical in 24 hours and I still think I can do it. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm so close to the end of act one. I can totally taste it now. I'll take it with you in a bit. It is. 12 13 a.m we have been streaming for 15 hours i can no longer heat water so i have to actually use my electric kettle this is a hundred percent a desperate situation <laughs> we have done 10 sprints in total i have not written very much but we are now truly and effectively in a full sleep over vibe so say hi to everyone at the sleepover. <laughs> you should come hang out with us. We're just chatting about life. We got 15 hours in. <sighs> How many hours to go? Nine hours to go. Nine hours to go. We are in, right? No, eight hours and 45 minutes to go. We are in single digits now. <laughs> All the sleepy emote. <laughs> All right, we'll check in in a couple of hours. I'm so tired. It's pouring right now. And yes, my Christmas tree is still here. The little boy has nestled. He has nestled. I have been staring at a screen for 15 hours. So I think I'm too jittery to nap at this point but I'm definitely just going to close my eyes and just rest for 30 minutes because my eyes are exhausted. And Shai brought up that point that I need to take a rest for my eyes. So maybe I'll get a nap and that would be absolutely amazing because I'm so tired. Check in with you in a bit. We are 16 minutes, or 16 minutes. We are 16 hours and 20 minutes in. Now's your chance, chat, to catch up. We are currently at 8,238 words. We have exactly three songs left in act one and we will be done. I might actually be getting started with act two post-its and my goal so far has been reached, or at least my new goal. Oh my God, hi vlog. Hello, hello, happy time zones. The Europeans are back. And so my goal right now for the duration of this stream is to write every sprint. It doesn't have to be a lot of words, but as long as it isn't zero, it's already better than what I would have gotten otherwise. So yeah, I'll check in in a couple of hours, almost at 16 and a half hours, which means we have what? Seven and a half hours left, crazy. So I finally did it. Ignore the mess. I live here. She is heating up, I think. I don't know exactly how long I'm supposed to leave her in, but she, she looks really pretty. Can't wait to have hot water at all times in my fucking office. I'm about to just get back to sprinting. I have to write words just as long as they're not zero words. Christmas tree. We are now 19 hours in, five hours left, and lovely writing level has forced us all to stretch. 
So that's what we're going to do. <sighs> this rate, I don't think I'm going to write a musical in 24 hours, but I'm still aiming for my goal of writing act one. I've added more scenes, but we're going to do it. Ooh, we're at a total of 20,701 words in the document. We are so close to breaking, so close to hitting 10K a day. This will be my first 10K day ever. Yeah. Yeah. Novasaurus Rex counts as a bird. All dinosaurs are birds. Anyway, 20 hours in, some of y'all are still here. We've officially hit a 10K day. 10,342 words. Last sprint, 560 words. I officially have one scene left. And that scene is the only finalized scene in the entire script, except for the dialogue. It's Alejandra and we are done. We are done with act one, baby. Say hi to the vlog that is indeed going on the board. Say hi to the vlog. Ba -boom, boom -da -boom. It is a... Uh, currently 5 20 a.m i don't know how i have this much energy i guess i'm just excited in the bag it's in the fucking bag Woo! 21 hours and 17 minutes it is currently 6 18 in the morning and with 379 more words in that last sprint end of act one Woo! <laughs> you are done you're done and now it's time to map out act two. Maybe I will write a musical in 24 hours. Let's get it. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> fucking weird second breakfast but it's my second breakfast in 24 hours y'all y'all gotta give your girl a break here a.m. We are 22 hours in. The little pup is in the view because I have just finished taking act two, putting it on the board. That is the whole musical. Essentially, I mean, there's some some scenes, right, that you can see like those little squares right there, sorry, triangles uh, that are like intro scenes and stuff. But these are all the songs in the show right now. There are currently 12 scenes in act two and our last scene in act one was act one scene 28 
which very much checks out with the end of the act and i'm pretty sure i'm going to be adding some scenes to give or take right so that'll be half of the length of that so the math maths up which is pretty cool now i have about seven minutes left before the last sprint of the day and then i get to go to bed so Ooh, I mean, to say I'm brain dead is very, very true. I've been holding on by a thread, but with about an hour and a half left, a little bit over an hour and a half left, there's definitely an end in sight that just really helps. Um, I'm going to try and write as much as I can of Act 2, but looking at these numbers right now, all I realize is that they are, they, this is like lots of intricate, <laughs> can't even speak, lots of intricate group numbers. What did you do, which is the opener of Act 2, is already between five people, and then we have the business expense working title. I don't know what the name of that song is going to be yet. Between Alejandra and Megan, because they're not going to reprise Alejandra yet. It's kind of like the still that, that tenuous first meeting sort of thing at the Los Andes. But then outside, like everything else is a duet or a reprise. The only two solos in this are Double Life and A Mother's Gift. And then there's a solo reprise for Julio and everything else is either two or more people. So we're definitely doing that cascading act two effect, which is thrilling, but it's very hard to zero draft stuff like that because we are now at the point where like you need these beats to hit to wrap up the story. So yeah, I mean, as I talked about six months of outlining hell is what led to me being able to essentially plot out the whole musical in 24 hours. Definitely act one. I'm gonna try and see how much into act two I'm gonna get. It's a lot of reprises, but again, emotional beats is what really matters. <laughs> I have a lot of really good lyric ideas, I've realized, and that's something to actually be super proud of. But sitting down and doing the craft work that's gonna go into lyric writing, it's too much. It's gonna take a long time to do. I'm starting to worry. I haven't heard back from the people in San Diego. I don't even know if I can really do this for the fall, have like a really good show. I might, you know, it's gonna take a couple of drafts, a couple of workshops, and that, that is the point of it. That's the point of their process. I'm just very scared right now. What if they say no? It's almost a preferred no. Like if I, they say no, then I have a little bit more time. But at the same time, same time i really wish they would say yes all right well i think after this i will just check in with you at the end of the stream or towards the end of it <sighs> an hour and a half left baby let's do this all right 23 and a half hours in we wrote during this 24 hour stream, where we're just chilling now, 11,095 words in 17 sprints. The musicals act one is done. And now it's just time to write act two. Yeah, hi vlog, hi friends. <laughs> I will wrap up the vlog once the stream is done. So I'll check in with everyone in a bit. Oh lordy. Oh lord. 40 seconds! Sophie says, now you know you can do anything. And you did a 24 hour stream, my god. <laughs> god, I, look, I tell you what. Being 27 and doing one of these, it hurts. 20 seconds! Sophie, I was here for eight hours, totally a fake fan. No, just someone with actual boundaries. Eli, I missed five hours or something? Y'all were here for a long time. Five, four, three, two, one, 24 hours. Woo! And that is how you write a musical in 24 hours. 
you don't, but you finish writing the entirety of act one, set up all the beats for act two, and uh, yeah, it'll definitely be done within the month. I think it'll be done within the week. That means it's time to meet with John. See you all next time with a crazy ass vlog. Let me know what other fucking writing experiment I should do. I'm so tired. Bye. I'm going to go play Moonlighter. <laughs> this is so chaotic.